One of the most talked about bills in the South Dakota State Legislature has been related to funding for affordable housing. The two bills from the governor's office having to do with building affordable housing have been debated on the floor for several hours over the course of the last 24 hours and have had two different fates. Our Austin Goss is in Pierre and gives us the latest from the state capitol. House lawmakers have spent several hours over the course of the last day debating whether or not to send tens of millions of dollars towards affordable housing projects. And once again, the issue has split more moderate Republicans and conservatives. The conservative members are concerned about seeing so much money go out the door with what they see as a lack of direction. This clearly is not ready for passage, especially when you're talking about spending $150 million of the people's money. I just think that deserves a bit more due consideration. The two bills in question, SB 53 and 65, would send $200 million total to the South Dakota Housing Opportunity Fund and the Governor's Office of Economic Development. Another concern was raised that the money would only benefit large towns, not small ones. There's not one small town, one small community that doesn't have a workforce issue and not one small community that doesn't have a housing issue to get to be able to provide somewhere for those people to live if you can find them. The vote on both bills were tight. SB 53 passed, sending 50 million to the governor's office of economic development. The opposition to the bills drawing questions from Governor Christy Noem Thursday during her weekly press conference. Obviously, I wanted the housing program to go forward during session like I had drafted it in my budget. I believe that every community in the state can benefit from having some help with building the infrastructure in their towns and communities. SB 63 was defeated in the House today after several attempts to pass a variation of it through. However, some state lawmakers are talking about various ways that they may be able to bring that bill back. In Pierre, I'm Austin Gall.